Oh, wow. Oh! oh! Whoa! -ho! Whoa! -ho. Ugh, skeleton in the closets. Skeletons. I swear I can hear more steps around. Can I? Can I go here, sir? So what do I do with this book? Can I give you the book? I swear I could... I swear I could... I don't know what I can do with this statue. I swear I saw his hand moving. But that's just my mind, probably. So I need to do something about you. So you can't read? That's okay. That's not a deal breaker. We can find something else for you. What is that? Oh, it's a set of candles. <laughs> oh, my eyes. <laughs> At some point. We have a book. Let's bring it back to the dining hall. And then we'll work it out from there. Wow. Statues on one side and... Some sort of gargoyler... Gargle figurines on the other. Looks different, at least. That's it. I saw a torch, I thought it was something. <laughs> okay. Um... This is so unsettling, though. And I'm just gonna spare a moment to just zone out of this game, because when you play a horror experience blindly, not, do, not doing any research about the game or anything, sometimes I see the trailers, like I did for this game, or some of the trailer, not all of it, actually. But just walking into this blindly, loud volume in the headsets, Immersiveness. It's just... At least for me, I can't focus very well on what I need to do because... I'm focus. I'm zooming in on the sounds. I'm focusing on the sounds and it just feels like... I can hear sounds coming from everywhere and I'm instinctively trying to figure out what it is. Where is it? What can I do to avoid it? What can I do to avoid murder and mutilation? So we are going to have another look down here. The note said something about uh, not seeing the ceiling, and I can concur to that. What's... Why is there a... Church bell? Or bell of some kind? I never liked those. Especially not in... Ritualistic... Was there something here? In ris ritualistic places. Wait. Oh, you fell off. Huh? Huh? <laughs> uh, oh. Nose blood. Jesus, that's. That's bad. That's not a good sign. 
That's not a good sign at all. Oh, there's a note. They said notes would be glowing with a bluish aura. This scroll says that to open the bars on the bridge, I should just touch the statue. Okay. Did I pick something else there as well? It seems like the owner moved his studies to a new lab, dug up even deeper below. Oh. <laughs> to access it, I'll have to cross a large bridge located a bit further into the dungeon. I'd bet that some sort of answer awaits me there. A few moments earlier, I noticed a statue standing next to a set of bars. It seems like the statue acts as a mechanism to open them. A few minutes ago, I heard some footsteps in the distance. I heard a lot of things in the distance and even right next to me. Pretty sure I did. Seems like I'm not the... I'm not here alone after all. Well, I was attacked moments ago. But yeah, I, I don't need a note telling me this. Why didn't I just try touching it? Let's just hurry up then. And why would I... And why would I keep going further down, cross the bridge and go further down? Why won't I just go out? Is it because I'm locked in? I mean, I got in here somehow. Did the gates just drop down behind me or something? I... But... Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Okay, I thought it was something chasing me. Sound like a dragon. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this was like the flesh of a hundred corpses. That's something you don't see every day. It's wielding a sword. Two-handed sword, holding, ugh, holding it straight up as if it is guarding something, prepared to attack at any moment. So I'm staying away from that. Wow. What was that? I better hide myself. Those pillars should suffice. What? How do I get back? Press. How do I? How do I? Do I go around? Gargoyles as, as if they are like dogs watching. Oh! Sound like a child. Oh, oh wow. Is that a thing from before that I chased away? What is that? It's a large skeleton of some kind. And now it's coming back. Oh! God is not seeing well. What even are you? Let's check this note out. I don't think it's gonna find me here. A tip. How do I view tips? Now 
Not sure what that lever did. Is that thing still here? Oh, the pile of corpses on the ground. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Uh. Yikes! Church bell coming from, or some sort of bell coming from over there. There's a bridge there as well. Oh. Oh, yikes! 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 Oh no! I'm. It's too late. It's too late. Perhaps it doesn't detect movement. No, 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 And we run, and we run. And it, and we can't. <laughs> so that's what happened to the others on the ground. That pile of bodies. Was found by that. <laughs> How did that get me twice? I better hide indeed. I in the middle of the screen means you can hide here. Close one means no one can see you. Oh, that's cool. I like stealth mechanisms. Oh. I feel like Timo from League of Legends. Just stand still and hope that nobody saw you go in there. I have a shield thing. I'm gonna use this. Be gone. And don't come back. The shield thing is red, although I have... Oh, it, it's on a cooldown. I have to wait for the cooldown to finish before I can use it again. Gold coins or something, but I can't pick it up. Okay, this means I can hide here. Is it coming back? A note? Uh... Where is the note? Said I picked up a note. Picked up a note. Where are the notes? Oh, I have to click and drag down. That explains it. In the center of the room, a statue uh, looms high. I've met it before quite a few times. It's probably some sort of local deity, or perhaps it has some other meaning. According to some papers found around, this statue was referred to by the owner as the Lady. He was asking her for something, and he sought her protection. But for what? There must be a way to lower the statue to the ground level, I think. I clearly heard some distant moaning, <laughs> yep. Which came with the creeps. Can't even imagine what someone could do to a man to make him moan like this. 
This castle is abandoned, isn't it? What the hell is going on here? I thought you meant the creature because that most certainly didn't look like a man. In the living sense anyway. Beyond any recognition. Um, Madman's Note 2 The lady always loved the color of green. For her sake collected for her sake collected I've every leaf, rock and grass green I could get. That was a confusing construction of the sentence. But burned in her still the jealousy. And so to steal all the color green she left to me as her last will she did. And in a tower she locked herself away until done is the deed. Steal all of the color green. Oh! It's coming back. Or not. Can't get up without fueling my lantern. <laughs> so I'm just gonna crawl. Oh. Oh, I can see it's lights. Stand still. They had some sort of intruder alert system here. Not sure what the other thing does, but I have a shield and I'm not afraid to use it. Don't you come this way. Ah, oh, goddammit. You forced me to do this. I didn't want to use it. But I don't want to die either. Ugh. Set the blood of the victims. Creepy dragons. A note. I need to try to be faster. Seems like the local vault. It seems part of the treasures is still intact, but only a fraction of what used to be here. Did the owner really spend all his money? What could he have done that for? I just imagine the detective just writing notes and then just laying it down and wandering off. <laughs> oh, everything needs to be green. Or does it have to be not be green? Said steal the green. I don't have a lot of time left. Green, 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 green. Okay, so everything has to be green. And if everything has to be red, then I basically fucked myself. Can't you just bugger off? 
I, mean, I, I probably pissed it off by sending, by sending it off so many times. Did that open something? I probably have more switches. But what was that sound then? It sounded like some gate or something opening. It's over to the right somewhere. If I remember correctly, you have some sort of... Some sort of blue aura. Did you go back down where I came from to look for me there? You should do that. I'm totally over there. Oh, god damn. It's coming back. Let's just run over here. Where are you, though? I see you. And I see a switch here. Something happened. Oh, it's the statue thing coming closer to the ground every time I flip a switch. You can go away, you're not green enough. All of the floating heads! That thing probably consists of so many souls. Does this mean I can... Ah. Oh. Okay, it's setting a little bit down there. Hopefully it doesn't detect light that good. It seems to be relatively short-sighted. Wait. Door is locked still. So what color is this one? It's green. Oh! It's coming back. And the detail in the animation, the way he just skims around looking for something alive. That it can add to his decoration on the floor. That's right. Bugger off, I have things to do. I have a lady to please. <laughs> I think that's what they talked about, some sort of lady statue. Okay, this is green. Then I'll have... Oh! What is that? Oh, you're down there now. How did you go around? So he is So he is looking for me down there as well. Uh, are you the final one? Something happened. Oh yeah. Oh crap. Patience is key. What even are you, some sort of death god? This is why you don't go into occult studies, because you're gonna bring back one of these things, whether you want to or not. And he's just going around. Hello, do you want to talk about the occult world? Like a Jehovah's Witness or something. Okay, let's go. Are you open yet? Oh, god damn it. I have to flip more switches somewhere. Must have missed some. I have 
am I gonna do that with you floating around? Oh. Uh. I have to flip every switch to red, don't I? Because she gets jealous if there is a color green somewhere. Oh, god damn it! God damn it! I've been a fool. I have to do them all over again. Okay, you are red. Oh, oh. oh what even is that? That's so unfair. You shouldn't do jump scares like that just because you can. I will have to steal the green stuff as well. I clearly heard not that. For on for once only did betray me the lady and allowed a stranger told to enter for a gift wondrous so that she still wishes to hold it in her hands. Does anybody here speak English? Like some English I can understand. Oh, here it comes. What's with the... What's with the panting? Okay, I'm gonna read you later when I figure it out because... The journal pages are so shuffled. I have to look through all of them to find the correct one. Quick skim. Oh! Skolar... Skolas's journal. I've heard about this creature for the first time from some local peasants while passing through these places five years ago. With a bit of variation, they all told me about an encounter with a humanoid creature. It was neatly dressed, but had no face. Its skin was pale white and it was thin, long and somewhat distorted in appearance. The young man who encountered it first. She's gonna cut me off there. Leave me hanging. Damn, you're creepy. It's just like in one of those old horror movies. Almost. Ooh. Oh crap, that's how unlucky saw me. One of his skulls were looking at me. One of his many heads. Yep. Off you go. Oh, so that's how you, uh, you just float down. I getcha. Some of these switches are also well hidden, so I need to really look for them. I'm gonna use the opportunity when he's down there to go... Yikes, I don't like those sounds. Bell sounds. I'm gonna use the opportunity to... To check here. Oh, I picked up a lot of these. Many of the possessions were left untouched. No wonder I couldn't find them in the regular journal. As well as the houses themselves. Intrigued, I decided to return with some of my equipment later to study the premises. But I was distracted again and so I had to lay my trip off for a while. Finally returning after, 
after two years, I've actually found a new generation of settlers. After some time, I managed to find out about an abandoned castle nearby. A few days later, I bought it and moved in. <laughs> Along with my equipment, my books and tools, I was determined to find out the reasons for the tragedy that occurred two years prior. And I immediately immersed into research. That's what horror does, it immerses you. But you should not go into uh, the occult world. It can be dangerous. I began by finding the peasants that left earliest and thus survived, and studying local literature and old sculptures. I found out that those peasants, as did many before them, arrived here relatively recently. However, the legend about the creature has been around much longer. An old man I found who was living as a hermit some distance away from the settlers told me uh, many went missing as well. Some of the survivors told a story similar to that of the young man I questioned the first time. New disappearances followed and searching for them yet again yielded no results. Out of despair, or perhaps... I like the system, but it can be confusing, so I'm wondering if I should just find as many notes as I can and then read them afterwards. That might be a better idea. Oh, hello. How did I not see you? Search low and high. Oh, what? You're, you're, I saw you near the start of the area as well. No idea what that is. I mean, it looks like an eye. It's probably a spell for somebody to look over me. Watch what I'm doing. Reminds me of World of Warcraft. The Warlock class had a, some sort of similar spell. They could summon an eye and then place it around. <gasps> Oh no. Oh no. Damn. I lose. I was so close. Sounds like a whale. Sounds like it, sounds like it could be echolocation, but... If it was proper echolocation, then it would have found me right away. Especially when he was standing over here. But it could be some sort of echolocation. Put the gemstone in the statue's hands. Okay. You hear a door open nearby. Yes, please. Goodbye. Finally, we may proceed. 